Hey folks, and welcome back. And what do I have for you today? Well, quite simply, we're going all the way back to 42 Gear Street number two, when I got to play this absolutely glorious, beautiful Maybach guitar. This orange, almost a 335 style guitar, but with slightly different horns on it, and really, really interesting uh, cutaways in the um, F holes. They look really, really classy. I have to say this guitar was absolutely lovely to play, and I was probably on it for about 20 minutes or so and uh, usually as I said in previous videos I like to keep the playing down to a minimum so I can get the maximum number of guitars tried out for you guys but this one was really really addictive so anyway what I'm going to do today is we're going to have a look at all of the tones as usual we'll be going through the great leveler the pocket pod and we'll have a listen to what tones this guitar produced. It was really nice. I was in Henning's mum's little gazebo at the back of her house there. And as always, I was just jamming it through the pocket pod. So as always, let's go and check out, first of all, let's check out the clean tones of this guitar. <laughs> You could hear that by the end of that, that when I was playing chunky chords on it, that guitar had really, really high output pickups and it was starting to just slightly crack and break up that lovely clean tone. But I have to say it was an absolute joy and pleasure to play. We'll come to what the guitar felt like and the way it was set up in just a moment. But let's first go and check out the crunch tones, which I know you're going to love. So the thing with this Maybach guitar, and I found this with a lot of them, and I believe that this, although it was a complete custom job, and I love the orange color, um, I believe it's based on the Capital style guitar, which is kind of the Maybach 335 style. And I'll put all of the specifications along the bottom here so that you can see what I believe this guitar was made out of. 
Also, I have to say that it had a nice chunky neck. Now, one of the things I love about my back guitars is they do have a really nice neck profile. And all of the my backs that I've played have had a slightly chunkier neck than maybe some of the other guitars that I've tried against them. Uh, anyway, let's go and check out, finally, the lead tones on this guitar and we'll come back and I'll give you my th final thoughts on it. So there are the lead tones, and I think you might agree that they sound pretty cool. And now I wasn't on top form for playing that day, but one of the things that this guitar and any guitar that I really enjoy is it keeps me playing. And I think I end up just noodling around for ages. So when I've been editing this video, I have actually had to cut and chop down so many of the riffs out of it because I was just actually having fun. Now, what's more important, folks, when you you play a guitar than just really really having fun. I'm aware that these guitars, the Maybach guitars, are fairly high-end in terms of the price. They're over a thousand and often way over that as well. So in terms of value for money, I still think they represent really good value because as I say, I was really really enjoying playing it. And at the end of the day, what price can you put on that? Now, the guitar was really, really nice and light. Another thing that I found was the body seemed to be just perfect size for me and just literally fit beautifully under my arms and um, was ergonomically really, really pleasing to play. I've already mentioned that the neck was superb in terms of thickness, but also the finishing on the fretwork and also the finishing on the back of the neck made it a really, really easy and playable guitar. I'm really, really impressed with all of the my bucks that I have played, and I think that they're definitely a brand that's well worth checking out. Of course, as always, I only do the demo and you guys get to do the review. So I'm really looking forward to what you have to say about this beautiful orange guitar in the comments section down below. I read them all and I will try to respond to as many as I possibly can. I want to make a little apology this week because YouTube actually seems to have missed off a load of your comments from my phone. I usually check and reply on my phone and you can tell I do because you will see the emojis are real emojis. If I'm replying on the computer, my smiley face will be two dots, a dash and a, and a, um, a bracket but usually I do it on my phone and loads of them. There must have been over a hundred comments this week that I didn't see until I got on the computer. So I haven't responded to them and I apologize for that because there were just so many and I've had quite a lot going on this week. In fact, it's my little boy's eighth birthday just today. So if you've got this far in the video, and I really hope you have, then I would just like you to say happy birthday Ben in the comment section down below and I will show him all of your happy birthday messages and I know that it will really, really please him. I'll be back as always with the very best content I can, but for now have yourselves a great weekend. I hope to see you on Streaming Sunday and as always my friends, you take good care.